Alright, what's up guys? Max LePage here for another video. Um, as you know, it is my spring break, and so I've, I've just had some little more time to um, allot to this um, hobby of mine, I guess you could say. Uh, so today was a leg training day. Um, pretty typical day. Squats, deads, um, Romanian deads, leg press, ham curl, all the, all the basic stuff. Um, and I titled this video Birdo-esque training, um, but really I could title it uh, Jeff-esque training. You know, uh, I think Birdo is a, almost a little bit known for how he trains in that it's just with, with just tremendous control, tremendous poise. Um, Jeff as well, Jeff is, is very known for, for having that perfection uh, that kind of drive to be perfect in form and that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, you look at Birdo train and he has very, uh, slow eccentrics, even some very slow concentric sometimes, um, on lots of movements. And, and that goes to show, uh, when it comes to, you know, the rate at which he gets injured, injuries, um, is extremely low. He has some SI joint issues, but, but, it, it it's really important to keep in mind that for an injury prevention standpoint or even if you have joints that are bothering you uh, a lot of times people will ask you know like what, what fish oil can I take or uh, like any supplements fish oils B complex any of that kind of stuff will that help their joints and a lot of times you can turn your focus towards the movement patterns that you're seeing in the gym how you're executing movements and whether or not you're really um, just moving efficiently and moving in a, in, a, in a way that you can prevent some of that, that wear and tear that is, is inevitable in the sport um, on your joints and really limit that. So, so lifting with control and really ingraining the motor patterns in your mind correctly and frequently just always paying attention to how you're performing the movements, whether it's something simple. Um, like a row on a machine or anything, um, being aware of kind of the the uh, just kinesthetic awareness. You know, you need to be aware of where you are uh, and and all that beautiful stuff. And that that's really the best thing you can do. Um, I name it Birdo esque style training. There's lots of people using that style of training, um, and it goes to show in the the length of time they're able to stay under a bar. And stay healthy. So stick around. I got some more stuff for you, and uh, enjoy. All right, what is up, guys? We are done with the gym. Um, had a pretty good training session. Took me a while to get through it all, but um, I mean that's the name of the game. Whenever you're in prep, um, and so like I just did legs and some cardio, uh, 400 calories of cardio, and now I'm stopping at a GNC, as you can see in the back there. I'm going to pick up some Quest Bars. You know, Quest Bars are are honestly, they're like the maker or, they like make or break your prep. Um, they're so useful for fiber and, and literally what I'm going to start doing for breakfast is usually I had to eat a Quest Bar and like a bagel and some yogurt or some something like that, but I'm going to start doing just a Quest Bar for breakfast, kind of utilize that, that high fiber to keep me full and then allow myself to kind of eat my meals later on in the day um, and keep some calories for later on and really have just a Quest Bar for breakfast. Um, you don't have to worry about the whole catabolic and when you're sleeping kind of thing. Um, there's there's really not as much truth to that as um, a lot of people have been led to believe that there is. So picking up these Quest Bars, um, we'll see what kind of flavors I get. I'm very particular. Uh, because I have quite a bit of experience with Quest Bars. So i um, going to go pick some of those up and uh, I'll see you back in the car. All right, so back from the gym or back from GNC as well. Um, and you know what? I said fuck it and I got some different flavors. So we got a uh, chocolate peanut butter here, which I've never tried. We also have um, a coconut, what is that? Coconut cashew, which is going to be interesting. And the last one, which the dude told me was good, I know the guy, um, is a strawberry cheesecake. Apparently it's his, like, little sister's favorite one or whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to eat one right now. Um, 
I'll let you guys know how it is. And also going to clean out my car because this is what I'm working with right now. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty terrible. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. And, um, talk to you guys in a little bit. This is a no judgment zone, but what we are left with is this beautiful clean car here. Nothing in the floorboards. All of that is clean. Um, and then basically, boom, this entire huge bag right here. is the aftermath just filled with like monsters and just uh, just waters, all kinds of stuff, even like empty pre-workout cans, um, all of that. So that is going in there and uh, yeah, now I'm ready to actually travel, but that is kind of the result of traveling um, a lot is that shit gets messy. So car is back to beautiful and uh, we will continue on with my life. So I actually already ate dinner, but what I had was uh, some of these chicken tenders with some uh, some corn flakes breading, um, super good, and then some, basically this right here, um, chicken tenders and squash mixed up with zucchini, just, um, you just kind of uh, saute it in a pan um, with some Pam, and that's it, and then some red potato, so low fat. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, but Jeff had, um, or has just lowered my fat. No, I didn't mention that. So I'm now at 40 fats, um, 300 grams of carbs and 180 protein. And so, uh, things are going to be needing to get a little bit lower in the fats generally. Um, so what I'm about to have right now are just some more rice cakes for some more carbs and then kind of go chill out. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I will talk to you guys next time. As always, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section or an email. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.